Let's turn it up. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, can't stop now. Don't stop, won't stop, let's turn it up. Hey, don't touch that dial. Do not touch it. Hey, listen. I know a lot of you guys out there suffering because you only know how to do one transaction, man. One type of transaction. Wholesaling. Guys, that's not the way to win in this business. You need to know multiple strategies, man. Multiple strategies. Come on. You don't know how to wholesale? For real? That's it? Oh, you're leaving so much money on the table. It's ridiculous, man. Let me, let me show you the benefit of doing a wholesale lease option. I'm going to show you the benefit right here. Benefit one. Gosh, my pen going out on me. Guys, serious business. If you're in this real estate business, you in it for the long haul, learn more than one strategy. One strategy, you're going to be in trouble. I promise you. Learn multiple strategies. You want to get some residual income in the process also so you can leave that job. Let's try this again. No earnest money. No earnest money. Little Little competition Plenty of buyers. Plenty. Plenty of buyers. So you got no earnest money, little competition, plenty of buyers. Not everybody is doing this. A lot of people are wholesaling. Add you at least one more strategy, man. One more tool to your toolbox. Because I guarantee you. You're throwing money in the trash. You're missing out. You're missing out on some money. Now, let me give you a perfect example of a wholesale lease option. Okay, perfect example. Divorce. Divorce situation. I know I need to write clear, but today, this is how we wrote. Multiple, multiple houses. You look for people with multiple houses. If this is a divorce situation. They have no equity. Guess what? They got to sell, right? They still have to sell. Now, hopefully the house is awarded already to the wife or the husband. So that's already done. Make sure that's, that part is over with. But that's a, good, that's a good situation, especially if they don't have any equity. If a, These days, people are divorcing within six months, a year, man. Maybe. It's, it's crazy, man. We run across a lot of divorce. Hey, you don't have no equity? It's cool. Let's say, for example. Two hundred thousand dollar house. It's worth one ninety. Uh, no, I'm sorry. They owe one ninety. They owe one ninety, right? Boom. 
They don't have, if they get a realtor, pay some commission, they'll walk away with nothing. So, you'll come in, hey, I'll find you a tenant buyer, somebody who's going to get you cast out. Guess what you just saw? No realtor. So they have no realtor involved because you're finding them a tenant buyer, a person who's going to occupy the house, who's going to buy the house eventually within a year or two, whatever you negotiate with the seller. So, you just, but remember, wholesale lease option, you're in and out. You're in the deal, you're out of the deal. Your job is to find a lease purchase tenant buyer. Now, this is not a subject to deal, something you're holding on to. So, you're going to cash out. You want to get them a good a good tenant buyer, somebody who's not too far off with their credit in, in a wholesale lease option because your seller is looking to cash out up. Your seller is looking to cash out of the property. So, you're going to look for a tenant buyer. We don't take no less than 5% down. No less than 5% down, guys. So, we're going to already, we're going to mark the, the property up, property to two. Two, it depends on what's the increase in the area. So, if it increase every year 5% or 7%, wherever you are, it's different. It varies. But if it increased, hey, go ahead and increase it for the first year. Increase it 5 to 7%. You can Google that and find that out. Boom. Let's just say that's 207. So, you're going to put it for sale for 207. New price. Two hundred seven thousand. You don't want to take on the lease purchase. Don't do not take no less than five percent down. If you do, you're gonna regret it. So five percent. Let's just say um, uh, give them calculator. It's on the job training, baby. Ten thousand, say ten thousand three hundred. So, if you're looking for a buyer, a tenant buyer, somebody who, whose credit is a little fair, or who doesn't need much, you look for a minimum of ten thousand down. Do not take less than this. If you do, I'm telling you, you don't have a problem. So, so now let's just say this payment is uh, shit, 1200 Let me see. That's right. About twelve. Let's just say they're paying about $1,300. Everything. Principal insurance. Principal interest taxes and insurance, P I T I. So they're paying about $1,300, dollars 1350 Let's say $1,350. They're paying $1,350 a month, right? Your seller, okay, you got a, a motivated seller. They agreed to sell on a lease purchase. So you tell them, Mr. Seller, we will only pay first month. I mean, we will only give you first month and a um, payment. First month payment. Oh, I'm sorry. First month payment and a security deposit. That's all you're gonna give them. So that what would that be? That'd be thirteen fifty plus thirteen fifty. So you will give the seller. This is what you will give the seller. You will give the seller twenty seven hundred, and you will charge your. You tell the seller that you're going to charge your tenant buyer a fee. So your fee is going to be ten thousand. Your fee is going to be ten thousand. If you get something higher, hey, that's great. That goes to Hip Pocket National Bank. Hip, 
your hip. That's where it goes. Guys, check of $7,300 goes to Hip Pocket National Bank. Guess what? You raised the purchase price already to cover that. So if you subtract that, the seller will walk away with, you know, they're going to pay it, pay it down with some payments. They're going to walk away with whatever the balance is within a year's time. They're going to they're walk away with that. Whatever the balance is within a year's time, subtract it from $90,000, they are going to get paid. Look, no closing costs to them. Well, closing costs, they got to negotiate that. That between the buyer and seller, you want to negotiate that up front between them. Get that up, no, get that negotiated up front so it won't be any surprises. But you, you can walk away with $7,300, guys, just like a wholesale check. But you're dealing with pretty houses, man. You're not dealing with junk. This strategy is for nice houses, somewhere you don't want to live at. Well, hopefully you want to live in something nice. I don't know. Everybody, they, they got different tastes. But look, a nice place you want your mom to live, your grandma, hopefully you. Hey, numbers don't lie. 7,300. But you got to market the property. Once you get it under contract, you got to market it. That's how you get the money. Don't you want to know how? Come on over to TE Academy. We'll take care of you, man. But check this out. Your payout. I want you to see this in writing. We're going to put this in stone for you. I'm trying to pick a color. Good. That's your potential profit. Just think, guys, anything you get over $2,700 is profit. Just say you only got $6,000. That's profit, man. It's not going to cost you much to market the property. A couple of strategies. You're getting paid, man. Put some more tools in your toolbox, guys. That's all I'm saying. Learn more than one strategy. Hey, Mr. Transaction signing off. Peace, and, peace blessings. Hey, go out to you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and be great.